and the angel of the Lord appeared unto him. Right. And said unto him, the Lord is with thee, thou mighty man of valor. Read it again. Thou Lord mighty Lord man of valor. Thee. The Lord is with thee, O mighty man of valor, man. Right. right? So although you might not think you're done, hey, the Lord is always with you. All right. Hey, y'all know y'all nationality, man. Y'all know y'all nationality. Hey, sisters, y'all know y'all nationality. Y'all know who y'all are. All right, keep going on that. So look at verse number 11. It reads verse 13. number 13. And Gideon said unto him, O oh my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is all this befallen us? Now you might say, hey, if the Lord be with us, why is we going through these curses, man? Right. Why is we always on the bottom? Right. I read. It reads, why then is all this befallen us? And where be all this miracle? which our father told of us, right. saying, did not the Lord bring us up from Egypt? Come down to verse 16. Verse number 16. And the Lord said unto him, surely I will be with thee. Right. And thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man. See that? And the Lord said, you, you Gideon, you gonna smite the Midianites. Now Gideon was probably scratching his head. He didn't know what was going on. All right, read. It reads. And he said unto him, if now I have found grace in thy sight, right? Then shew me a son that thou talkest with me. Depart not hence, I pray thee, when I, uh, until I come unto thee and bring forth my present and set it before thee. And he said, I will tarry until thou come again. Right. And Gideon went in and made ready a kid and unleavened cakes. Verse number 15. Get and he said unto him, O oh my Lord, where with, uh, wherewith shall I save Israel? Right. Behold. He said, Wherewith shall I save Israel? I'm nobody, man. Read. Behold, my family is poor and Manasseh. He said, What? My, my family, family is poor and Manasseh. And he said, I'm poor, man. I don't have nothing. Keep going. It reads, And I am the least in my father's house. And you might say, I'm the least in my father's house, man. I'm nobody. But what did the Lord do? He chose the men that was least. Although Gideon was least, he was poor. He didn't know what was going on. And the Lord still chose him. Right. right? The Lord is always dealing with the meekest man. Right. The book of 1 Chronicles, chapter 28, verse 4. Read it out. How be it the Lord God of Israel chose me before all the house of my father to be king over Israel forever. Right? The Lord chose David out of the house of his father to be king over Israel. Hey, brother, you know your nationality? Yeah. Did you know the Lord chose you right now to get the word of God? Right now at this second. The Lord chose me to be a disciple and a witness of his word. Come on, brother. You gonna walk away from me like that? Yeah. The brother not a disciple. He got his hair shaved. Right. Alright, the disciples didn't have their hair shaved, man. With no beards on their face. Right. Hey sister, you gonna ignore the brother like that? Brian Eve is proud. Hey, in that day. Hey, Eve, not, give me um, second address 15. Man, Eve not going to be walking like that, man. All right, she fouled. She don't need anybody. We're not dealing with that. Right. All right, in that day, her husband probably might die in war and in family. And guess what? She going to plead to the man of the Lord. That's right. All right, she going to say, you know what, uh, Brother Kazak, you know, I see you know, you do videos. I might need, I need to get out of here. Now, Kazak might say, you know what? No, I'm not done with that. All right? He said, you, you kind of, yeah. Uh -huh. kind of stiff arm him, say you smell bad. You know, we're not done with that. It's up to him. Now, because I can say, you know what, you can come to me. And it's all up to this brother. But in that day, give me Isaiah 4 and 1. In that day, all of these proud beings, all of that will get brought to naught, man. So we're not uh -huh. done with that. All right, give me Isaiah 14 and 1. Give me Isaiah 13 and 19. Uh -huh. so look, give me first Matthew 1 and 26. Isaiah 14 and 1. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. Read. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will Isaiah yet. Isaiah 4 and 1. Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. And in that day. Hey, so called white man. Are you sorry for slavery? You asshole. See that? Hey, the devil that coming out. And hey, you're going to get put to death by the Lord. I was fucking around when slavery occurred. Hey. By the way, I'm a Jew. We were put to death. You're a fat Jew. Oh, I thought you were your hoodie. You're a fat hoodie. Hey, you're a joke. Hey, y'all see the 
that we will come right up out of it. Hey, give me your back at two and four. See that heat? And that's for all you coons. Hey, you coons not gonna make it. Though. At all. Uh, you coons, man. Y'all kind of get me stirred up. Uh, all right, the Lord not dealing with that. The back at two and four. And you see this so far, what? Give me, give me first Maccabee 7 and 27. Give me Proverbs 26 and 25. Right. You see this so far, white man coming out. All right, his own camera is documented. But yet, you still gonna have a coon in that day to sell out his own brother. It's guaranteed. Read that. The book of Habakkuk, chapter 2 and verse 4. Read. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him. What the Lord say? His Behold, soul, which is lifted up, up is not upright, upright in him. him. The soul that's in a so-called white man, it's not upright. Meaning what? He would never be able to do righteousness. It's just in him. He would never be able to keep the commandments. All right, read. But the just shall live by his faith. Hey, but the just shall live by his faith. Bring that up, First Maccabees 7 and 27. This is the book of First Maccabees, chapter 7 and verse 27. Read. Yeah. So Nicanor came to Jerusalem with a great force. All right, that's what the so-called white man do. He come to Jerusalem with a great force. Read. And sent unto Judas and his brethren deceitfully with friendly words. And he come off with friendly words, man. All right, give me Syrac 27 and verse 22. Another reader, Syrac 27 and 22. Read that out. God, you want me to keep going? Yeah, keep going. God. It's a lot here. 28. Let there be no battle between me and you. See that? That's what they get. But they really get the jigs that don't know no better. All right, because we know better. All right, we see the so-called white man. We already know what's going on. All right, but they try to get the jigs that don't really know what's going on because they can manipulate. All right, read. I will come with a few men that I may see you in peace. See, that snicker story said, you know what, I'm going to come with a few men. And you can see me in peace. We don't want no smoke. All right, but we know it's really this man intention. Read that. Uh, he came. Hey, brother, you know your nationality? Put the pick in here. I'm good. You're not good, brother. How are we good? We still in captivity, man. How we still got to work? We still got to pay taxes. We still gotta pay phone bills. Cardinal, how are we free? Are y'all sorry for the slavery of the Black Spanish and Native Americans? They not sorry. Alright, are y'all sorry about slavery? That's the question of the day. Are y'all sorry about slavery? She laughed. She think it's funny, man. Yeah, bring that out. Verse 29. He came therefore to Judas. And they saluted one another peaceably. Thank you. You know your nationality. I you know your nationality. How be it that enemies were prepared to take away Judas by violence. See that? So whole time Nicanor said, I want to come up with you friends. And they tried to grab Judas up and take him by violence. And that's the deceit of the so-called white man. All right, bring that up. Proverbs 26, Sarah 27. Proverbs 26, verse 4. 26, verse 25. Proverbs chapter 26, and verse 25. Bring it out! When he speak of fair, believe him not. What the Lord say? When, when he speak of fair, believe him not. Hey, sister, you know your nationality? Let's walk it by it. All right, so the, the Lord said when a so-called white man speaks fair, don't believe him. All right, read. It reads. Man, believe him not, but there are seven abominations in his heart. There are what? There, there are seven, seven abominations in his heart. Meaning it, it's a complete amount of evil spirits and abominations in the so-called white man. All right, so we're not done with that, man. No, no. All, right. All right, a wise man, he's going to watch out for his enemy. Why? Because his enemy want to go, you want to go sit down with him, have lunch. Right? The enemy, he's not going to let you know he's your enemy. He's going to come up as your friend. All right, this is the wise things we got to use in the last days. All right, bring that out. Sarek 27 verse 2. Bring it out. As a nail stick of fast. Hold on. Are y'all sorry for slavery? What y'all did to us? Yeah. No, you're not. You're not sorry. Thank you, Hey, y'all know y'all nationality? Y'all got a minute? Come here to work. Come here to work. Come on. Come here to work. All the praise. 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 So what's y'all nationality if y'all don't mind me asking? What would y'all identify yourself? I'm not gonna say. You're not gonna say? I don't know. I'm not gonna say because I don't know. What about you, brother? I'm black. Black? 
All right, now be real. Are you the color of his shirt? So why do you call yourself black? Because I'm not identifying as a color. I identify as an aspect. So why would you call yourself black? Because I'm identifying as an aspect. No, brother. Okay, so go ahead. All right, the point is you're not black. Are we calling ourselves black? Those are just colors. So far, white man calls himself white. He's not actually white. He's pink. He's red. The point is, we got proverbs and bywords put on us this slavery. All right, we was called niggas. How we get called niggas first? And then it changed to slaves. Then Afro-Americans. Then African-Americans. And now we black. We just black. And if we still here another 20 years, I guarantee you it will change again. All right, the point is, within this Bible, we can identify four of the people on the sign. All right, the people on the sign will be God's chosen people, the Israelites. Right. 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 Give me a uh, Deuteronomy 28, 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hold on, so y'all familiar with Moses? Y'all know anything about the Israelites and Moses? Yeah. yeah. All right, how Moses, you know, parted the Red Sea left through. Yeah. All right, so the point is, our nationality is in the Bible. We descend from the Israelites. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Now the Lord said, He told Moses to tell the children of Israel, if you don't keep my commandments, I will put bad things will happen to you. All right, we're going to read it. To observe and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. Right, if we don't keep his commandments, right, thou shalt not uh, hate thy brother in thy heart. Keep the Sabbath day. All right, no shaving your beard. Women dressed in modest apparel. If we don't keep these commandments, what? There are these curses. That what? There there are all these curses. curses. Read it again. There all are these curses. curses. So the Lord said, all these curses will come upon you. Are not as a curse, a horrible thing, or a great thing. I don't know. It depends on your perspective. Are we going to read it? Now I want you to tell me, are these curses horrible? But also, with these curses, you can identify who the Israelites are. Because we all know the Israelites didn't keep the commandments. It was rebellious. We all heard of that story. So we're going to bring out some curses. All y'all got to just say is who does it fit today in 2021. All right, y'all going to do that? We're here. We got it. Hey, hey, all praise. Give me verse 54. Verse 54. All right. So that the man that is tender among you. The Lord said the man that is tender among you. Meaning, you know, your fellow brother. All right, read. And very delicate. And very delicate. Read. His eyes shall be evil for his brother. His what? His, his eyes shall be evil for his brother. So the Lord said the Israelites will have an evil eye toward their brother. Now in 2021, who does that fit? It fit us, it fit us right? right? Black on black crime. Right. I want to kill this brother because his dreads look better than mine. This madness. Right. Are we the only people that do that type of stuff? All right, I want to kill you because you're not from my block. You're not from O block. Or you're from 63rd. All right, the Lord not dealing with that. I right, read that. Keep going on. His eye shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom. And the wife of his bosom. All right, domestic violence. The so-called black man. Here we got it again. Another case in the newspaper. He got his wife a black eye. Last time, I never heard of a Chinese man black in his white book. Black eye in his white book. I ain't hear of that yet. Y'all brothers heard of that? No. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We ain't hear of that. All right, who does that fit? Us. The people in the sun. Read. And toward the remnant of his children, which he shall lead. Which he shall what? Which, which he, he shall, shall lead. So this, the, the Lord said the Israelite man will be most known for leaving the household of his kids. Now who does that fit? That's us. All right, the father say I'm going to 7-Eleven. Guess what? He don't come back. Most of our fathers don't even sign up, you know, sign a birth certificate. All right, that only fits us as a people, but it's talking about the Israelites. Now, give me verse 68. Verse 60. Now, this curse, you can't, you can't get around it. It's plain upon table. All right, read that. Verse 68. Wake right. up. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Now, that he said the Lord will bring the Israelites into Egypt. Again, now the Israelites just came out of Egypt, so it's not talking about ancient Egypt. Give me Micah 6 and 4. We're gonna see what it's talking about. All right, Micah 6 and 4. Come, bring it out. This is the book of Micah, chapter 6, verse 4. Bring it out. For I brought thee up 
out of the land of Egypt, right? And right. redeem right. thee out of the house of servants. Out of the what? Out, out of the, the house, house of servants. Read it again. Out, out of, of the, the house, house of servants. So the Lord said, I brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of servants. Why? Because that's what he was doing in Egypt. All right, the Israelites were building the pyramids, building the Sphinx. All right, we were servants. So that's all that word Egypt means, because we didn't go back into Egypt. All right, keep going on that. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. So what nation of people went to slavery on ships? <laughs> hey, that's in the Bible. All right, the King James Bible. That's on everybody's grandmother's house. That's in a Christian church. Why haven't we heard this? <laughs> have y'all ever heard this before? I have. You have? Yeah. What about you, sister? Hey, but it's in there. All right, so it said the Israelites were going slavery on ships. Now, if we are the only people on this earth to go on slavery on ships, who must we be? What is our nationality? If we put the same person as the Israelites. That's right. Yeah. Right. 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 All right, that's our nationality. Right, right, right. All right, keep going. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our homeland again. Our homeland is Jerusalem. Right. All right. We think we're from the Bronx, and we think we're from Old Block. We're not from these places. We're not even from this. You know, most of us, the Southern Kingdom, is not from this region. Are right, we really from? We all from Jerusalem. Right. All right. That's the motherland. I read. And Zalaki, that thou shalt see it no more again. Hey, we're not gonna see our homeland again. Read. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Now nah, your friends. Until your, your enemies. enemies. Read it again. Until, Until your enemies. enemies. So who is we sold to? We got off those slave ships. So called white people. There you have it. That's right. Enemy. That's right. Are you willing to say to the camera that so called white man is your enemy? Yes. Unfortunately, it's too bad. But yeah. All praise All to the most high. Our, our people don't want to acknowledge that. Right, they want to hold on and say, no, he's our friend. No, a, a friend wouldn't do this to you. That's right. That's right. my check. A friend wouldn't rape your wife. You know, kind of uh, had a have a baby. The next thing you know, you don't give it even get to enjoy it. Right. right. You take him away to another plantation. Right. So read that. It says, and there you shall be sold unto your enemies. Right. For bond men slave and bond men. women. Slave men and slave women. Read. And no man shall buy you. And no man shall redeem you. Because in 2021, you're still subject to payment. Right. Are we still in slavery? Right. It's all mentally. We still gotta pay our phone bill. Name one thing that's free in America. Right. Well, I could say speech, but I don't even know about that anymore. Right. 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 The they trying to going. take away your speech. Uh, um. No, no, no. Free them. taxes. No. Uh, I don't know. Not free air. You have to pay for food. I mean, even the air is contaminated. Water. I'm trying to think. I'm having a hard time. I don't know. All right, so see, <laughs> I'm going to just say it. Hey, let free in his land. Exactly. All right. Right, right. They say it's the land of the free, right? It's not the land of the free because nothing here is free, man. Right. Right. We got to pay for right. water. Good. You're telling me water comes from out the sky freely. We got to pay for that. Right. All right. So nothing in America is free. At all. Right. All right, but the Lord said what? Give me John 8 and 32. The Lord said what? Good. It's the book of John chapter 8 verse 32. Right. It reads thus. And ye shall know the truth. Right, you shall know the truth. This is the truth. We're the Israelites of the Bible. Right. This is the biggest conspiracy theory on earth. Alright, they might say the moon landed, you know, was fake, or 9-11 was an inside job. But the biggest conspiracy of all time are who are God's chosen people. Alright, read. And the truth shall make you free. And the what? And, and the, the truth, truth shall, shall make you free. free. Read it again. And, and the, the truth shall make you free. So the Lord said the truth will make you free. You're you knowing you're not black. You knowing you're not a slave, an African American. You're an Israelite. That's the truth. It's gonna make you free. How mentally? All right, because we mentally enslaved. All right, so now that y'all know y'all not black anymore, y'all not slaves, niggas. What will be y'all nationality according to the Bible? Right. 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 Right.
Yeah. You should be proud of you. I, I am. You're a good job. All right, brother. You, y'all, Ezra, buddy. All right, now y'all gotta go for it. Yeah, we are. We are. But I actually, I follow you guys on. I watch the like. I'm connected to them. Shikari. Okay, all Shikari right. Water. Yeah, if there's anything else that I'm missing, oh, yeah. if there's anything that I'm missing, let, let you know, that I need to keep looking at, let me know, but I love what you guys are doing, and please keep keep going. Come on, all praise to the most high. All right, call me a shot. Call, call me a shot. All right, rise, Ezra, right. we rising up in the last uh, days, man. Right. All right, we can't make this up. Yeah, you got men who don't want to put in the work. All right. Okay, Give me Sirach 43 and 30. All right, last precept. Sirach 43 and 30. The book of Sirach, chapter 43 and verse 30. Bring it out. When you glorify the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. What the Lord say? Exalt him as much as you can. Come on, 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 come on,